Hello and welcome to Tutorials Diary. This is lesson 4 of Ethereum development course for beginners. If you haven't gone through my last 3 videos which is lesson 1, lesson 2 and lesson 3 I would recommend you to go to that sessions because in that session we have covered how you can set up your development environment for Ethereum then how you can start building a smart contract in the Remix IDE then how you can start compiling and deploy on JavaScript virtual machine. So this is lesson 4 and we'll cover about Ganesha blockchain here. We'll show you how you can connect to Ganesha blockchain from Remix IDE. Then how you can deploy a smart contract to Ganesha and how you can test that smart contract functionality which is deployed on a Ganesha blockchain. So let's go and start see how this can be achieved. So before you go and start to this lesson, you have to ensure that your blockchain is up and running. So you can just make sure that this is how it look like. So if you have gone through the very first session, we have explained about the GUI of this Ganesha blockchain, but I, I will give you a brief idea again about Ganesha blockchain, how it look like. As you can see, uh, there are 10 accounts which you will get by default whenever you install Ganesha blockchain. And every time you do a restart of this blockchain, all the transactions will be erased. So suppose you have developed some smart contract you have tested. As soon as you shut down this, smart, uh, this blockchain and open it again, all the data will be erased from this blockchain. So every time you will open this one, you will always see transaction count is zero for all the accounts, blocks count is zero, no transactions and logs are empty. So as I mentioned before, there are 10 accounts which you will get by default in the Ganesha blockchain with the transaction count is zero for all the account and 100 ethers are assigned to each and every account. Then the blocks, as we started to use this blockchain, the block, block count will start to increase from zero to one, one to two and so on. And then transactions will be shown here whenever you deploy any smart contract to this Ganesha blockchain you will see a transaction will be shown here that smart contract is created and whenever you access any functionality of the smart contract again a transaction will be shown here. And then the last option is the logs here you can see the logs whatever whenever you access this Ganesha blockchain all the logs will be shown here in this log file. So this logs will be shown from the old transaction as well. Although you don't see any accounts when you restart this one, but still logs you can see from the old transaction as well in this one. So now let's see how you can connect to this Ganesha blockchain from the Remix ID. So we'll go, go to the Remix ID and to connect the Ganesha blockchain, you have to go to this run option in the Remix just choose the third option here which is web3 provider so once you click on this one just say ok so here you have to mention the detail of your Ganesha blockchain as I mentioned before Ganesha blockchain comes with two flavor one is the graphical user interface other is the command line utility the graphical user interface has a port number 7545 and if you use the command line utility then the port number will be 8545. So but for us this is 7545 that we have mentioned and we will say ok here. So as soon as you click ok so you can see here this will create the connection here and you can see the current custom it will show 5777. So this is your network ID for the Ganesha blockchain. And as, a, as soon as you create a connection, it will show all the 10 accounts which you have in Ganesha blockchain and what, whatever ether associated with each account. Now, this is again very simple step which you can use to connect to the Ganesha blockchain. Now, the next step is that how you can deploy that smart contract to Ganesha blockchain. So to deploy, simply click on deploy here. So now if you notice here that we have shown in the last session about JavaScript virtual machine as soon as you deploy it will show that in the starting it will be in a pending state. So that means 
you are creating a transaction on a blockchain so someone has to go and mine that transaction then it will be successful so again just to see that one if you expand this one if you see this will be shown the status is this one this came from which address gas associated with this one and other details if you go down to this one this log so now let's go and check in the Ganesha blockchain and you will see the transaction count increased by one for this account because we have used this account to deploy our smart contract on the Ganesha blockchain so some some gas is used from this account when you go to the blocks you can see the block count is increased from 0 to 1 and that block contain one transaction that transaction is nothing just a creation of smart contract so that you can get in the transaction detail you can see that when we have hit that button deploy button this has created a contract on the blockchain so this came from this address this is the account which we have used to create that smart contract and that get created on this address so this is the same concept which we have discussed in the previous session and this is the gas used for this activity for this transaction okay so this is how you can connect to your Gracia blockchain from a remix and this is how you can deploy your smart contract on a Gracia blockchain now the next step which we'll see how you can access the smart contract function using remix from this Ganesha blockchain so concept is same which we are discussing in javascript virtual machine you can call this function set function you can pass a parameter here let me pass the parameter as my name and this has to be a string format and h32 i will say transact so again so since we are changing the state on a blockchain this also required the mining okay and then you have to use some gas from your side for this transaction that will be given to the miner now if you go to the blo blockchain again you will see that you have let me show you the first of all the accounts now this account has two transactions because one transaction is to create the smart contract and second transaction is to access that function of smart contract which is making the some changes to the state of that smart contract on the blockchain so this is the reason the transaction count increased to two here and the block count will also increase to two and each block contain one transaction only and here you can see the transaction detail so a smart contract call has been made from this send address to this address and this is the gas used for that one okay and this is the mining mined in the block number two so this transaction was mined and this was put in the block number two so this is how you can interact with the blockchain from remix okay so this if you are using command line utility you can use a port number as 8545 if you use a GUI interface you can use a 7545 but the concept will remain in same in both the scenarios I hopeful that you have learned how you can connect to Ganesha blockchain using remix from this video so in next sessions we'll show you how you can deploy the same smart contract to the testnet blockchain thanks for watching